Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the last video on this episode. And if you're, I've said in the other videos, I'm going to post this file on Epilogue's Facebook page, and I'm just going to call it Angels or Angel Ornament. You know, I'm going to call it Angel Ornament. I haven't posted it yet. So when you get this, the font's going to be Gabriella. You can change it to any font you want. I'm not going to turn it into curve, so it's it's editable. I mean, you can change it into Arial, you know, whatever you want. It's that easy. And then just resize it to fit in there. The only one you might have problem with is this one on the curve. So I thought I'd kind of show a little trick. I've shown this on a video before. Just go up to text, because you just can't type. You just can't edit this on this curve. It just won't work. But if you go to text, and go to straighten text it puts that word back down straight like before you put it in the text and then you can go to edit and you could call it let's just type it all over again you could say friend or grand mother then just hit enter or OK then just go back to text, fit text a path, and put it where you think it needs to be. Anyway, can't be any easier than that. And please use the file if you if you like. This particular one that I'm saving is 3.75 tall, and that is because of the fact that um, let's group it together here. Control G. It's 3.75 tall. It'll fit on a piece of four inch alder very easily. And like I said in the other video, I've scaled everything to object so you could make it any size you like. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.